हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे आई विल लोड अपलोड माय न्यू प्रोजेक्ट आई टू बी स्मार्ट फार्मिंग हाय गुड इवनिंग ऑल ऑफ यू राइट इन दिस प्रोजेक्ट वी हैव टू सी यू सी द लाइव डेटा ऑफ द फार्मिंग राइट नाउ आई एम बी यूजिंग द मॉइस्चर सेंसर मॉइस्चर सेंसर वी कैन डिटेक्ट द मॉइस्चर ऑफ द लैंड हाउ मच इट इज इफ देर आर बेट बेट देर आर राइस और शुगर कोन so we can adjust the threshold level and from this threshold level we can turn on and off the motor and we can see in our mobile phone using the blink app right now we can see okay how it happens we can see first of all i will show you the to show you the image of my projects this one is the image of my projects right this one is we have to use the submersible pump just like a demo project is there here is the land is uh, farmer land and in that case we have to uh, in that case we have to using a rice and uh, we have to adjust in programming threshold level is c 700 right this one is the moisture sensor moisture sensor is connected with arduino so we have to use the arduino uno and this one is the esp8266 wifi modules it is the iot project so we have to use the internet and for internet we have to use the wifi module usb 266 which is interface with arduino uno and for controlling the motor submersible pump every farmer have a submersible pump to pick up a water from the well so we have to use the demo submersible pump which is connected with the relay and relay is interface with the uno right everything we have to seen in the blink app here it is the blink app in the mobile phones uh, every farmer have a smartphone they can install the blink and how to install blink and how to communicate our uno we have to explain it in the next sessions that means in this video right from this uh, we have to set the threshold value depends on the rice wheat or sugar sugar cane so many things right the different different okay farming for farmer uh specifications right and this one is a moisture level here it is the moisture level now it's indicating the motor if it is the green that means motor is on if it is the black that means motor is off automatically motor is off when moisture level is increases which we have to decided then automatically motor will off and at the same time here in mobile apps it will be color is in black right so this word is the basic Uh, basic model types right right uh, this one is the demo which i explain you and this one is the app which we have to see in motor on off uh, indicator moisture indicator moisture level indicator and this one is the iot based sugar cane wheat and rice in that case sugar cane wheat and rice we have to adjust the moisture uh, moisture level that means threshold value from this threshold value we have to turn on and off through the controller and we can see everything in this app right this one is the image i will show you the live but first of all i will show you the programming uh, for interfacing of uh, sensor arduino it uh, esp8266 right so first of all we have to include the library the blink and as well as the esp8266 uh, library we have to uh, put the authentication key which is generated by the blink right blink app when you have to register in that blink app you have to uh, you have a authentication key that authentication key you have to put uh, copy and paste over here after that uh, it is the internet based that's why it is you use the wifi uh, so user id and password is kanaiya and password is keypad 27 right it is the esp8266 uh, esp8266 consider Uh, as a wi-fi module and it is uh, activate uh, activate the internet connections but how uh, through the user id and password right now next one is we have to connected a relay i have to connect a relay at eight number sensor pin a0 sensor pin let me moisture sensor output value which uh, it is the uh, integers constant analog output pin it is the one analog output pin 1 threshold which we have to decided current value which we have to 
decided in the programs LED one V zero. We have to indicated LED one V zero. That means what V zero is here motor. It is cold control. We have to connect uh, through the link app. In that case, we have to use the virtual port. That virtual port we have to indicate it is a V zero. V zero is for motor on off and V one is for TX and RX terminal. Right. Okay, blink right up. How it will be right? The first of all, if string sugar cane, if a farmer wants uh, so they wants to uh, farming for a sugar cane, then we have to adjust the parameter threshold value is three hundred. It is fixed. If sugar cane will come, you have to write in the TX RX, RX port sugar cane. Then th threshold value three hundred will automatically goes to the controller and in that level it will be work. If it is greater than 300, motor will be turned off. Below 300, motor will be turned on. Same thing, same uh, syntax for a wheat. That threshold value is 500. Uh, for rice, it is threshold value is 700. Every uh, farming, it's uh, different different threshold value because of its different different farming. Sugar cane, wheat, and rice. Every have different different moisture level. So we have to indicate in the threshold value, right? Now it is end. Now comes to the word setup for the Arduino relay output uh, pin mode. We have to decide a digital write. We have to decide a initially it will be high. Serial begins double one five to double zero, right? We have to initialize it to double zero. We have to first of all print the terminal print ln IoT based moisture control in the mobile app. It will be shown the IoT based moisture control, right? First of all it will be seen. Word loop, word word loop, sensor pin, it that means analog read, output value, it goes to output value integer, the sensor pin, that means moisture sensor, right? Everything will be same thing. We have to map it out, that means it is the analog pin, that's why its limit is 10 to 1023, we have to convert it into the 0 to 100, right? Okay, uh, for this 0 to 100, it is the output value, that means the moisture level, right? Here it is the level of that 0 to 100 okay now output value is goes to the output pin analog right right the serial print serial print that means it is the serial print that means in uh, uh, android apps you can see over here in serial monitor you can see also over here android app as well as the in computer screen also right serial print is there after that current value greater than or equal to threshold value if we have to consider 700 is the threshold value if it is greater than that, that then what will happen relay will be goes no no that means motor turn on if it is the greater than then motor turn on water level low turning water pump on right the relay is low that means pump is high pump is on led one is on led one that means in blink app it is the uh, we have to ide identical one color for uh, green uh, green color for a motor on right led one on else same thing opposite else that means opposite of if conditions water level high turning water pump pump uh, off right and digital right relay high right relay high that means turn off the motor and relay low that means turn on the motor right LED one off that means his color will be goes off right after that blink run that means blink automatically run blink dot virtual right v1 moisture in v1 is for moisture in this one is the virtual v1 output value threshold value it will be writing down the threshold value and threshold right threshold is this one is the blink virtual right it is the compulsory for the blink app Right, so this one is the program thing which you have to interface with Arduino. Uh, submersible pump with uh, relay, relay with Arduino. Number of pins which is connected with the ESP8266 sensors. Right, everything we have to indicate in this program. Right, you can see this and copy this as well as uh, you can. It is uh, perfectly run program. Okay, now I will show you the video. First of all, I will show you the mobile app. How to interface Blink app with your Arduino Uno. Right. First of all, go to Play Store. 
and install the Arduino uh, sorry Blink app in that case uh, create a new project write down the project name moisture choose device ESP8266 because of we have to use uh, choose device Arduino Uno and connecting types that means what connecting types that means ESP8266 okay authentication when you have to uh, create a new uh, new project that means one authentication sent to your register email id in that uh, register code you have to enter in your arduino programs right we have to add a led virtual port is v0 or v um, right in that case which virtual port v1 v1 we have to identify into the arduino program clear led that means it is the motor clear motor on slash off on off led we have to add it in link app next one is garage that means variable uh, register now pin you have to use the analog pin a0 which we have to identify into the arduino clear you have to give the name threshold value right so here it is the block for threshold value now next one is again level v setting pin We have to use A0. Right here, it is the moisture level vertically display. Now, next, we have to select the terminal TXRX terminal, which we have to transmit and receive the data from the Arduino using the ESP8266. Terminal clear. terminal pin v0 virtual port if you have take a different color then you have to select it use the name iot farming sugarcane wheat and rice right here it will be shown here it is will be shown right okay so here it is the installing of our app clear now next one is how to communicate with our project after the communicate with our projects it will be shown like this we have to adjust uh, threshold value is 700 if it is the below the 700 then motor will be turn off moisture level is below that that threshold value then motor will turn off it is uh, right now it is okay right now it is below the 700 motor will be turn off and if it is greater than 700 motor will turn on it is the online live streaming right now final project i will show you how how it will be happens this one is the moisture control sensor it is the threshold value here it is the maximum when we i have to put into the land then its threshold value goes down and moisture is increases moisture is increases threshold value goes down it is inversely proportional i have to adjust the 700 if we, it is below 700 then motor will be turned on this motor will be turned on right you can listen the volume of the motor sound of the motor it is turn off if it is below 700 then automatically turn off below 
below 700 it will be turn off right so right this one is iot project live demo project right so here it is you have to do your projects best of luck go ahead and do this project at your home thank you very much